Okay, hello everyone. This is Casey from WebBuddy. So in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to create a blog page that shows all your blog posts in this single page so that when your visitors come to your website, they'll be able to browse through what are the blog posts that you have. Okay, but before we do that, make sure that every blog post that you have contain a featured image. So I'm going to show you how to upload the featured image. Okay, over here you just click edit and when you scroll down on the right side you will see that there's a feature image over here. So click on the box feature image, upload file, then you can choose a file that you want to upload as a feature image. So I'm going to choose this, click open, once it's uploaded click set feature image and it will appear here remember to update it to save it okay okay so now we are going to create a new page for blog so let's go to add new page and let's call this page blog okay and the template for now, I can select page with no title, okay? So page with no title, up to you, you can select other template as well if you want to. Then I click publish. Okay, so now I'm going to need to have a plugin. And I'm going to recommend you a plugin that's free to use. Of course, uh, you can also pay for the pro version. But for me, most of the time, I just use the free version. And it's called Content View Plugin. Okay, so this is the one. So I just click Install now. After it has been installed, just click Activate. Okay, so now it has been activated. So once it has been activated, you can find on the side you have this selection called Content Views. Let's go to Content Views Layout Library. Okay, and there are a lot of beautiful layout. Uh, some of them are pro, so I'm just going to filter free ones. So these are the free layout that I can have for my website. And I kind of like this one, Layout overlay 2-1 okay so i'm going to use this okay so let's go to my page all pages under block click edit and over here you can see there's a content views library so i'm going to click here click filter free and select just now this one that i like so i click here Okay, this is just to show you how it looks like. I just click import. And now you can see that these are my three blog posts being shown here. If I click preview, you can see that now it is showing on this blog page. But the thing is that it's a bit too narrow. So I'm going to edit the template to increase the width of this content so click on page here click on template edit template for the content increase it to 1400 click update save go back here and do a refresh and now you can see that image expand uh, beautifully so when people click on the article, they will report to the article and read it. So this is how it's being laid out nicely over here. And when you go back to the layout over here, let's finish this layout and go to edit block. Once again, here, you can click on block click on this block and there are a few settings you can select so this content view is pretty powerful they give you a lot of uh, control if you want to so for example over here 
if you do not want to show the heading text you uncheck then the heading text disappear okay the heading text is this trending now you can change the heading text if you don't like this trending down you can see you can change it to recent post for example okay so this recent post then featured image this is the featured image selection okay the title you uncheck then the you can see that the title disappear if you check again then the title appear okay so that's how it looks another thing i want to share with you is overlay which is a very important feature because sometimes when you see that your text is white color and the background is also a bit white so it, users may have difficulty reading your title over here for example in this image so you want to add a bit of an overlay by choosing overlay type you can check color then you see that it's now easier for the visitors to read the title because it's applying a gray overlay on top of all your image so that's how you can do some uh, refinement some tweaking over here okay by clicking uh, update okay so now if we were to go to our website refresh the website and click blog and people will be able to see all your blog posts depending on the layout that you have selected using the content view plugin okay so you may notice that the navigation over here we have not tidy up yet so in the next few tutorial video i will teach you how you can do some configuration in the header as well as in the footer in the meantime if you have any questions just feel free to post in the questions area below i'll see you in the next few videos thank you